Welcome back to Twitter Basics for Executives. In this installment, we're going to cover how to build your profile. We'll start with my um, my Surrey Tai Chi Twitter account once again, and I'm going to show you there are a couple of ways to get into your profile to change it. This is relatively new um, from Twitter. You can now change it right from this page, your profile page. So you can click on the edit and then you can make the changes right here and save including the pictures. You can edit the pictures, push down the little pencil, upload a photo or take a photo, remove etc. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, or you can go to the more traditional page which is to click on the settings and then you're going to click on the profile. Now let's start with the photo, your your own photo. The, the photo is very important, um, maybe more important than you realize. People want to connect with a person. They don't really want to connect with a logo per se or with a cartoon. So unless you have that sort of creative aspect to your job uh, or what what it is that you're going to sort of talk about through your Twitter account. Uh, suggest you stay fairly traditional in the sense of having your own face, a nice picture. Um, you want to look like somebody who, you know, would seems to be nice, would be nice to have a conversation with. So smiles are good, though. Depending on the audience, you might want to tone the smile down. So maybe not too much. The header photo. I'll show you what the header photo is. Go back to my profile page. The header photo is this picture behind the main profile picture. Um, this is another relatively new introduction from from Twitter, and it's it's a nice one because it lets you add a little bit extra bit of personality to your page, helps you distinguish yourself a bit more, talk a bit more about your your brand, whether it be personal or corporate, you, through pictures. So pictures are extremely powerful, um, especially online. So highly recommend you find a picture or a graphic to, to, to stick in there um, in addition to the background photo. Now to do the background photo, you've got to come out of profile actually and go into design. And in design, you're going to find a whole bunch of um, Twitter standard backgrounds that you can use or you can go into this theme Leon, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, which is a, 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 a Twitter vendor where you can find thousands of other um, background designs. I strongly recommend that you use your own photo um, or graphic for that background. Okay. Um, then you've got that again, that extra bit of personality that's unique to yourself that you come came up with, not that you tried to fit to your brand. To make the change, uh, which is not hard, but not necessarily easily um, recognized when you come back to your account, you just click on that and then uh, choose an existing image if you like from your desktop and and you're off. Okay. Now, just a couple other things on the profile page to cover. Uh, location is something that seems fairly straightforward, but actually may you might want to think about it a bit more, depending on how important the location is to your area or to your service. Okay, um, you have to think again about how your audience is going to come across you. How, what are they going to be searching to find you in terms of geography? Uh, so if it's important. Okay. So for me, uh, this is a Tai Chi school in Surrey, so very important for, for it to have in my location, Surrey in England, because uh, people will be searching on that basis. Um, you want to be both narrow and broad at the same time, but again, thinking about what is your audience most likely going to be searching for to get to you. Put a website in, 
if you've got one that's relevant to your Twitter account to your business okay um, now most importantly is the is the the bio um, this is how people are gonna gonna ultimately find you aside from having your name or from uh, possibly through the location so you want to spend a lot of time thinking about what's a very short space 160 keystrokes as opposed to 140 keystrokes for tweets um, you want to use as many of those keystrokes as possible. In other words, you want to cram in as many keywords as you possibly can that are relevant to you. Um, you don't know what door the next useful connection is going to come from. So present a well-rounded picture, not just one with your professional and functional titles. <clears throat> and, and don't worry about complete sentences or phrases. Um, you might want to add a phrase for interest or color that's less serious, for example, say you're an accountant and you say something like, uh, replacing green eye shades with rose-colored glasses, uh, for example. But uh, don't go overboard because you, you then lose the opportunity to include uh, keywords, obviously. Um, now, that is the end of uh, this Twitter basics for executives. Jo join me in my next video, which is going to cover the basics of tweeting. Thank you.